Sticking with China, ETFs tied to the country resuming their march lower today with fears over strict tariffs, adding to those stimulus concerns. The K-Web Internet ETF tumbling nearly 7 percent. The iShares large cap in China ETFs down more than 5 percent each. CNBC contributor Dwardrick McNeil will join us now. For more on the trade jitter jitters, he's Longview Global's managing director, senior policy analyst, and formerly served in the Obama administration. Dwardrick, always great to see you. Hi, Melissa. Welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, oh, th thank you. Good to be back. Um, in terms of uh, tariffs, that's what everybody, everybody is concerned about. You are actually concerned about a potential trade war. What does that look like in your view? Well, Melissa, I think we've been talking a lot about tariffs, sort of us to China and, and what may happen there. What worries me is a larger trade war that is not just what we intend to, to do to China, but what are the retaliatory steps that China may take? And what I'm not hearing a lot of is also this broader uh, look that the Trump uh, campaign spoke about with 10 percent across the board tariffs, which, Melissa, will hit allies like our European trading partners. And if we look at uh, Germany, for example, Germany's economy is already on life support. So if they are hit, uh, then we'll, we'll have uh, additional concerns about what's happening in, in the EU. And all of these countries, China as well as our uh, allies and partners, will respond with their own set of tariffs on us. And mm -hmm. therefore, now we have this global trade war that, that I fear, Melissa. Um, focusing in just a bit on China, though, first, what sort of retaliatory measures? We, we've always talked about sort of... Uh, Tit for tat, in a way, sort of measured responses um, in relationship to what we do to them. They will do something commensurate and vice versa. Should is that a bad assumption in this new scenario? Commensurate may not be the way to look at it. I mean, I think they certainly have uh, some things that they could do with respect to the agricultural sector. I've talked a lot about how they control critical minerals and may be able to do something. Uh, there, but look, we import far more from them than they than they do from us. So they're going to have limited bandwidth in terms of how they can match us tariff for tariff. So I, I think we should expect some of that, but we should look to other things. I don't know what they will do to U.S. to U.S. companies. Many U.S. companies uh, will likely try and front run some of this by surging imports. Uh, today, Melissa, we heard from Steve Madden, C CEO Edward. Uh, Rosenfeld, who said they are already starting to draw down some of uh, their imports from China as a preemption for what they think is coming uh, with Trump tariffs. I don't know how China is going to respond to, to, to Steve Madden's attempts to do this. So th there are a whole range of possibilities here, and I think we should be talking about all of them. And so far, the conversation has just been about what we will do to China. China has agency. They will likely try and do things to us and to our businesses as well. Hey, Dwardrick, Tim. Yeah. And, and in fact, I, China's exports last night were significantly better than expected, which is probably the other side of the trade you're talking about, which is that Chinese exporters might be trying to push as much as they can before that starts to happen. And, and so as we speak of this, and this is where you are, I'm curious, uh, or this is what you've started to talk about here. I'm curious your view on is that bazooka, which we clearly haven't seen. Why wouldn't you hold off on that bazooka if you're China until you get into the Trump administration uh, and you actually know what you're up against? And if you actually need to fight a bigger fiscal gun if you're China. And whether you're going to admit that's because of Trump or not, there's no sense in doing it now. So if markets are expecting something out of China, that my view is now, I think you're now on hold. I think you're absolutely on hold, Tim. And you said this the last time that we that we spoke here, that, that traders, investors are pretty much coming to terms with the fact that this bazooka fiscal spending, juicing consumption is not going to happen this year. The package that we heard overnight. That's a debt swap, Tim. And that's because China is really, in the short term, more concerned about local government debt. But they also are aware that you're not going to do it with exports in terms of trying to get growth in 2025 if you have these tariffs. And so then you will likely have no choice but to try and juice domestic consumption as one of the growth drivers because your exports that's not going to be a real good tool if you're under this, this trade war scenario. 